organic, all natural, no sugar added. Yeah, food labels are full of a lot of information. Some, not so much truths, but lies. Registered dietitian Lisa Gretzelanik uh, with Your Tasty Life is here today to help us uncover the lies behind the labels. Yeah, yeah. and I think you know, these food manufacturers I don't want to say they're being totally deceptive, but they're kind of preying on us consumers because we're trying to do the right thing and pick healthier foods, right. but it's not always all it's cracked up to be, what's on the labels. Sure. Okay. And so the first term I want to start with is organic because that's obviously, as the years go on, keeps being more and more of a buzz. Right. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say about organic is it doesn't necessarily mean it's a healthy food sure. just because it has an organic label on it. Okay. What it does mean is it's made without synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, growth hormone, GMOs, no animal byproducts. So is it a better way to produce food? In my opinion, absolutely. It could still be loaded with sugar though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's look at some organic tea. Mm. This tea has over seven and a half teaspoons of sugar. Yes. Wow. So it's organic. Was it produced in a better way? Food. Yes, but it doesn't have anything to state about the amount of sugar or sodium in a product. So there's organic junk food just like there's regular junk food. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get skinny. Drinking and it doesn't that. mean it's a free pass. Right. So is this it's chocolate? Organic. Are we, are we this is chocolate. So you know, I always talk about dark chocolate. I, I love know, my dark chocolate. Thing, right? But my point there is just because it's organic doesn't mean I eat three bars a night because oh, it's organic. Oh. Yeah. So people get caught in that lie, like, oh, it's organic, it doesn't matter, it can have sure. some, and not, not, just be okay. careful. Well, let's talk eggs because you know we had this conversation before you and I, and I just buy an egg. You're yeah. like, mm, yeah. No, I think there's there's a lot to be said to the quality of how the food is being produced, and eggs is probably one of the biggest thing I get comments on from my clients. Well, what egg should I buy? So we have cage free out there. And what cage free means, and you'll see that right on the label, I'm going to go close above that, it says right on the package, cage free. What that means is just that the hen was not raised in a cage. So she's not stressed out? Well, no, 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 not exactly. You're right. You would think so. But the problem with cage free is generally how these cage free eggs are, or the hens are raised, are in, in fined, uh, confined buildings with no access to outdoor, no access to light. So it means they're not in a cage, but it doesn't um, necessarily mean like they're roaming around on the farm having a good old time. Let's see. Okay. So the term you would want to look for that you that many manufacturers are putting is this term pastured, and you'll see that on the, on the label. Pastured means it, there's no um, FDA you know, or USDA slamming down saying it has to be this way, but pasture means you get access to outdoors. Okay. And or the word organic, because organic means again they're using organic feed, organic land, and if it's an organic product when it comes to the eggs, they have to have access to outdoors. Okay. There's a loophole on how much access they're getting, are they out there an hour, three hours, so um, organic, cage free, organic pasture race. Way to go. Okay. Right. What about Natural. that popcorn? Yes. What's, I know. Natural not be bad. is one of the biggest food lies, I guess I would say, out there right now because Naturally. there's no definition for what natural means. FDA, US, USDA basically kind of say, well, if it's not made with synthetic, you know, ingredients, it's natural. Right. Well, okay, so here's some popcorn. Natural. And there's in here, there's a preservative. Last time I checked, preservatives weren't uh, natural. natural. Right. Okay. Sure. Right. And then you know they play to our um, our our need for healthier food. Most right. people think natural is healthier. So this right. says 100% natural oats. Well, what the heck? What is an unnatural? Yeah, oats? I, I don't natural. really. And know. what are the oats wrapped in? Uh, right. Caramel. So you know, <laughs> and you know, you get all these yeah. little sweeteners out there now. Yeah. You know, and this is saying natural flavors. Well, let me tell you, the ingredients in here are far from found in nature. They're right. not natural. Right. So natural is a very loosey goosey term. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a better product. It Completely could be. Unregulated. Could be, but you still want to read the ingredients. Okay. It's unregulated. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking at an apple now. What's what's what could possibly right. go wrong apple. here? So the other right. confusing terms are no sugar added. So my okay. point here is no sugar added means just that. There's no sugar added to the already occurring sugar in the product. Mm -hmm. okay. So in the case of fruit juices, this fruit juice has 76 carbs. <gasps> That's the equivalent of eating what? more than two of these apples. Sure. So eat a piece of fruit it. is my point. Oh Don't my get gosh. it from all the fruit juice. But that but it's but it's the naturally occurring sugar from the fruit itself. Exactly. Right. But you think, oh no sugar added, that doesn't mean it's sugar right. free. There's right. still a lot of sugar in here from the fruit. That's and right. Then same okay. thing with the peaches and the mix here, right? Yeah, it's so the no sugar added exactly. No more than what's originally in there. And with sugar free, my point is for all my folks living with the blood sugar stuff, sugar free does not mean carb free. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't mean there's no well, carbs in this. It says it means, right on it, too, not a low calorie food. It means they didn't add uh, any table sugar to it, but flour has carbs, other ingredients have carbs. Yeah. So one of these brownies has 24 carbs. That's enough to make your blood sugar go up. Right. Uh, okay? But it can be a nice treat for those who are. 
that it may like may be an alternative. Moderation. Sure. Right. Yeah. You At know, least it, it gives you an be. option. Right. Okay. And then lastly, sodium is another area. So 80% of the sodium we get in this country is from uh, packaged foods, meaning not at the table we put it on. It's in the food. Mm -hmm. So if it says less sodium or reduced sodium, it does not necessarily mean it's a low sodium product. Point taken, if we look at the soy sauce, it says on here, 55% less sodium. Is that a better thing in my professional opinion? Yes, all these products that are reducing sodium right. is better. However, this product, if I use two tablespoons, has over 1,000 milligrams of sodium. That's nowhere near Whoa. a low sodium product, wow. okay? So if I have high blood pressure, these are not free Past foods if you're concerned about your salt intake. Yes, yes. Right. So do they reduce the salt? Yes, but just be reading those labels to know right. how it fits into your food plan because you may be surprised. What did you find well, there, Rob? Well, this one's, uh, yeah, same thing. I mean, the sodium's 570 milligrams, but then you got to watch the serving size, too. Exactly. This is considered two servings. Yeah. I'm going to eat the whole can. Yeah, who has right. one cup of soup? Well, I mean, I guess you can, but when you're having, you know, soup for a dinner, you're yes. going to have more than a sure. cup, and now you got more sodium. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think there are things that can help consumers, but we got to know what we're looking for yeah. when we're looking at these packages. Well, Lisa, thanks to you, we will have a healthy life. Right, <laughs> right now, we're going to have some chocolate, though. I know. I'm going to break. <laughs>